It wasn't until I understood the power of leverage that my life really took a turn for the best. In this video, I wanna tell you guys how to use leverage because leverage is everything. If you look at the most successful people in the world, they leverage things in their life. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to leverage so you can live a life by design. Ready for it? Here we go. This one's gonna sound weird. First part of the formula is really leveraging yourself. Being the optimal version of yourself where you can actually trust yourself. I used to walk in places insecure back in the day, feeling like I wasn't enough. Was that in my conscious mind? No, it was in my subconscious. It wasn't until I leveraged my tools, my body, my soul, my mind, I optimized to a level where I walked in the room confident, kicked in that door, walked in like Rick is here. Little Rick didn't do that. Little Rick kind of creeped in, walked to the back of the room, never put up his hand. Not this guy. This guy walks in, sits in the front, say, what up? I leverage my own power, my own being because that radiates to other people, that radiates to other things. The universe is attracted to, to people that are confident, people that believe in themselves. If you follow this channel enough, I have all sorts of videos on that. That's all I leave, love to talk about. So learn to be the best version of yourself. Here's the second thing you need to leverage. You need to learn how to leverage money. Money is abundant. I used to think it was scarce. I'm grateful for my years in real estate sales because it taught me how to leverage money properly. You guys heard about a mortgage before? That was my first step in understanding leverage. In real estate, I can leverage a small amount of money and then the bank 5x is that, 10x is that. So if I wanted to make $100,000 into $500,000, I could get a $400,000 mortgage. Leveraging money to make more money. Now let's follow that same practice. So let's say I bought a house and there's, there's, there's a method to my madness here, stay with me. So let's say I bought a $500,000 house using that $100,000 Five years went by, and now that $500,000 house is worth a million. Guess what? I built equity. Then I started refinancing those homes that I was banking in that house, the equity, to buy more things. There's so many different ways in real estate and outside it you can leverage money. For you people out there that are doing startups, for the people that are doing stocks, you can use other people's money if you are, like I talked about the first time, if you are the best version of yourself and people believe in you. And secondly, people believe in your product. People will give you money. You need to leverage other people's money to make money. There are so many different ways you can do that. I talked about mortgages here. I taught you could do it in a fund. You can do it in a million different ways. That's not the purpose of the video though. Here, I'm going to show you the techniques to leverage what you want out of life. So best version of yourself, leveraging money. Third, leverage the people in your life. You know the saying, your net worth is your net work. Go out there and shake some hands, man. Go out there and be a person of worth so you can get what you're worth. Let people see you and what you can bring to the table. You have all these people in your life, relationships that you made, and you're not talking to them. Because A, our ego is too big, and we don't want rejection. Man, it wasn't until the time that I felt that I wasn't so important who gives a shit if they reject you, Rick? I thought I was so important in life that if I got rejected, it's going to hurt my ego. Screw all that. That game is for losers. Winners don't think like that. Winners think that they're bringing value. And if somebody rejects them, 
They go on to the next person. Man, again, I credit my years in real estate sales. You know how many rejections I would get every day? I'm used to being rejected. For you salespeople out there watching this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So it was really easy for me to take that into the world of leveraging people. There is more opportunity out there than you know, but you have to leverage the people in your life. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to make a list of all the influential people in your life. They don't have to be mega influencers on social media. That's not what I'm talking about. They can influence you in different ways. People that are important to you and you want to be important to them. Write it down. Put pen to paper. Put it on a computer. Put it on a spreadsheet. These are the people you want to contact. This is your network. First thing I want you to do when you reach out to your network, I want you to have an offer. And your offer could be as simply as, how can I help you? Make your small talk, build a relationship or continue the existing one you have and just say, hey, Frank, man, we haven't talked in a long time. I know you're into IT or I know you're into the stock option stuff, whatever they're into. How can I help you, man? Offer your service that goes a long way because you know what kicks in? The law of reciprocity. When you do something for somebody, you know what they want to do? They want to give it right back to you. So use the law of reciprocity. It's a universal law and leverage the people in your life. So become the best version of yourself. Leverage money, leverage people. Man, I'm a dinosaur. So this last one was hard for me. Leverage technology. If you can leverage technology that's available for us today, man, your life becomes so much easier. For example, boom, I could pick up this phone, make a video, send it out through social media or through email blast, and I'm reaching people while I sleep. There's AI technology out there. If you have a CRM, there's tons of uh, technology out there. Man, I was researching AI and we came across a product that talks to you, but it's an AI communication and they will answer your questions. Uh, we try to divert them and they would not. I try to take them off the subject and they would not get off the subject. We were using it to perfect our sales funnel when we're prospecting with people. And there is AI that can take over inside sales agents. It's remarkable. So if you're leveraging technology in your life and your business, it'll take you to the next level. Physically, there's technology out there. You can measure your steps. You can measure your how, how good you sleep, the nutrition that you're putting in your body. You need to leverage that in your life. So look, check this out. The key to, to success is making it easier. I want you to picture a big boulder that you cannot move. You pushed it, you body checked it, ah, you're straining, you're trying to move it, but you cannot. Now you gather four or five friends, you try to move that boulder, it's kind of pushing, but it's not still there. You got 10 people, still not there. And then you built a vice we get this huge two by four, you stick it under there and you put another rock and you start leveraging that. With the strength of the people in your life that are helping you, you finally move that boulder. And when that boulder started moving, you know what you start creating? Momentum. When somebody is in momentum, the universe rewards that momentum and now you're attracting beautiful things and people and money into your life. Use the power of leverage, the tips that I came across in this video, and you're going to live a life by design every single time. Hope you guys enjoyed this. See you on the next one.